Good morning, wig lover ladies. I am back. And as usual, I am here to give you a thoroughly entertaining, non-edited, bad lighting video on a couple of things. One is how I get all this hair that I have left into a shorter wig. Two, I ordered one of my favorite bob wigs on deep discount and she was too blonde. So I had to root her. So I'll show you how I did that. And I'll just kind of make a comparison between the three units of this one wig that I have. The wig happens to be um, Gabor's High Society. So next to Aesthetic is Jameson. It's my, it's High Society is my favorite Bob wig. Um, a little bit about me in case you're coming here for the first time. I am an over 60 pro ager. I try to give hints about hair, especially if you've, if you've experienced, I don't say suffer, I just say experience. If you experience hair loss or thinning hair, um, I know this looks like a ton of hair, but if you look down, I've lost a lot of it. Hold on. I'm going to turn around so you can see like more of what I don't have. Can you see? I mean, I'm not a nun, so I don't have eyes in the back of my head. So I'm hoping that you saw just a little bit of what I kind of go through. But anyway, I am going to show you how I get all this hair into a wig. And first of all, I'm going to talk about the newest um, wig that I have. It is high society. Oops. Hold on. I told you I don't edit. I just got the makeup brush. Ow. Oh, I can't believe I can get up after bending down like that. And let me tell you something. Yesterday, I took all of the Christmas decorations down. Remember in the last videos, we had the poinsettias. All the Christmas decorations were taken down. Um, we took down our fake tree and still managed to have the same kind of argument over taking down a fake tree that we did with the real tree because we couldn't unhinge the sections of the fake tree and we couldn't fit it into the box. So we just literally threw it into the box. It's downstairs in a storage room and that's where it's staying. So anyway, what I have is my newest in the high society wigs. And this is by Gabor. I ordered this from, okay, I'm not gonna, I ordered a couple of wigs that were on deep discount. So this is either from, um, we got best wig outlet, or it's from wig outlet, or it's from um, brand name wigs. Okay, so I really can't remember. But I ordered this, this is champagne line. And when I got it, it was like Barbie hair. Now, I like blonding. And I think as we pro age, Going with a lighter shade than your bio hair is a good thing. For some of us who have had super dark hair, we like to go blonde, but not like yellow blonde. And trust me, this wig was like freaking yellow blonde. And there was no rooting. So it looked really one dimensional. Um, I'm not going to say that I was upset because this was on a deep discount. So I knew at some point I would have to do some manipulation to make it work. So here's what I did. I added dark roots and I'll show you how I added them. But first I am going to show you how I get this moppy head of hair into a wig. So first I just take it, put it back, and I put my hair into a low pony. Oh, and I use a twirly do. I don't know what a lot of you call these. Some people call them twisties. Some people just call them hair bands. I grew up calling them twirly do's. 
Uh, my sisters and I all had longer hair and we would get these twirly do's. We would fight about them because half the time we lost them. Uh, you know, like twirly do's bring back such fun memories of growing up. But anyway, I use a twirly do. The next, I take one of these big clips. Now I bought clips and size it in like a three pack. One is black, one is a lighter color, and one is tortoise. I usually use the lighter color and eventually I peel, and sorry about this nail, I need a manicure, but I just don't have time right now. But anyway, um, I take this and I kind of peel the plastic coating over it so that it's nice and clear and you can't see it through my wig cap or wig. So anyway, I take this mass of Brillo and I just put it up like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Then I take one of these flesh colored nylon wig caps and I place it on my head like so. You can see where I put dark eyeshadow over here. And there we go. So now my hair or my head is as flat as it's going to be. Then I take the wig. And before I put the wig on, I always give my wigs a shake. Now I will put this wig on. And I'm going to take her off too. Okay, so where did I put my comb? Yes, I did have a wig comb and now I cannot find it. Ah, the pleasures of life when you're watching somebody who has no idea what they're doing when they make videos. Okay, well, you know what? I'm just gonna use my hands. Okay, so let me straighten her out. Straighten the ear tabs. Get the two strays away. And here she goes. This is High Society by Gabor. And I honestly love this bob. This is a great bob because let's face it, it's winter time. If you're wearing a kind of like textured sweater where the fibers may tend to stick to it with a longer wig, you can kind of um, shorten the life, the lifeline of your wig. When you have a shorter wig like this, your wig is going to last longer. Now look how adorable she is. I'm going to turn around from side to side in the back to show you just how she looks from all sides. Okay, now here we go. Here's my right side. And I really like the line of this. Like you wouldn't know that I had Brillo for hair. Here's the back. And here. Is the left side. So what do you think? Now here is all the rooting that I added. And how did I add it? Okay, I'm going to show you. And I left the eyeshadow upstairs. So hold on and I will be right back, okay? I don't have my glasses on, so I have to see how to pause this. Okay. I'm gonna... Okay, I'm back. And I swear to God, I was going to bring my John Renault comb down. I have nine of them. Nine of them strategically placed throughout the house. Do you think I could find any of them now? Heck no. So here is a wide tooth comb. And the wide tooth combs are great for wig maintenance. 
and just all around wig use. So, I found the eyeshadow. Now, this Mally um, nude attitude is actually my favorite um, neutral eye palette of all time. And it was discontinued. Luckily, I have a backup that has never been used before. So I'm in pretty good shape. Now, I took this color chestnut. As you can see, I've totally hit pan on this. So I'm just kind of using what's left. And I'm getting it on the brush. Heading to the parting space. And that's all I did. That is all I did. It's like easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then I actually took this carbon color right here. And I added that as well to the roots. I'm telling you, this thing, this, this thing, this wig, Champagne Blonde, when I took it out of the box, my reaction was, oh my God, what am I going to do with this? But once I was able to root it, I wore it to work. I, I truly loved it. So I think for being blonde, if you have access to um, adding roots, go ahead and do it because how can I put this? Sometimes when we order items, and it's any item online, we can be slightly surprised or even disappointed when that item comes. And I think that's um, that rings true, especially with wigs. Because if we're not looking at reviews of wigs on the average woman, we're looking at stock photos. And then all of these sites have like pictures that are this big of the shades. Now I knew Champagne Blonde was definitely gonna be blonde and it was the only shade available for deep discount. So I went ahead and I bought it anyway. And when I got it, yes, I was surprised. I was disappointed, but I put my thinking cap on and I looked at how I can fix this. And the first thing was the roots. And <clears throat> excuse me, I know people have used permanent markers for rooting. I am not that person. Uh, that's permanent. I don't want anything that says permanent, especially the first time out. Others have used um, hair dye. <clears throat> Trust me, in my whole life, I have used enough hair dye on my regular hair that I want nothing more to do with hair dye. So I figured eyeshadow was definitely the way to go. And like it is. When I wash this wig, it'll dry and I'll just be able to reapply. Wash, dry, reapply. That's it. It's eyeshadow. It's not going to harm the wig. It's not going to ruin the fibers. So I think that's a more, um, how can I say, organic way to go. But anyway, this is high society. And if you like short hair, but you don't want close cropped, like boy cut hair, I think this is such a fantastic wig. Hold on, I'm gonna show you how she looks in the other two colors that I have, okay? Here's a closer look at the rooting. See, that's like freaking blonde. That's like really blonde. So I'm just gonna turn her inside out, obviously, if you're familiar with Gabor wigs, you know that they're very comfortable. These ear tabs are super comfortable. There's no like wiring in them. They're just really, really great. Again, Velcro um, attachments, um, adjustment bands, which I happen to prefer than the bra straps. So I'm gonna put her away. And when I put my wigs away, I put them back in the box that they came in. I'm not like, I don't put them on mannequins. Here we go, she's inside out. Put her in. Back in the box she goes. 
and there she is. Now I'm going to try another one on. This is High Society in Sugared Nickel. Sugared Nickel is one of my favorite, whoops, gray shades. Because there's a lot of dimension going on. Okay, hold on. Ugh, I, you know what? I have no idea where I put my John Renault comb, but I think I got this at Walmart or a Sally like many moons ago. Doesn't that look great? I like this shade is unbelievable. I think this is the most beautiful shade of gray that I have ever seen only because it's so dimensional and it really looks, it looks so natural. It looks like you actually have salt and pepper hair, but good salt and pepper hair, not like the bad salt and pepper hair. This is so gorgeous. Again, this is high society and sugared nickel. <clears throat> And what I want to say is I think darker wigs have um, fibers that aren't as soft as like super, super blonde ones. So I think there's a chance that they may like last longer, but we'll find out, won't we? Isn't this gorgeous? Like this <laughs> sugared nickel is so beautiful. I will take her off. Like, look at that. <sighs> Dang. She's nice. I recommended her to someone um, who likes my Instagram feed this week. She was looking for a shorter gray wig and I recommended that. I hope she enjoys it and it's just really beautiful. Okay, now here we have toasted pecan. This high society and toasted pecan. Now this is another blonde wig and what I like about this one is that it's ashy. And I think with my coloring, like my cool toned coloring, I honestly think that an ashy blonde wig is much better. Now, I'll, I'm going to go on record. I'm going to tell you, this wig is over a year old, like over a year old. And look. Let's just play around with her to smooth her a little. Isn't she great? I gotta get my glasses back on. Woo! Isn't she great? I'm telling you this, this wig, and I very rarely use this word because I think it's so overused. And I think it's just like one of those words that you really, really, need to use this word with care. This wig is a very chic bob. And I mean, I, I seriously mean that. This is like Upper East Side hair. This is like Philly Mainline hair. This is um, 16th arrondissement and 17th arrondissement hair. Uh, like this is like freaking amazing hair. I love this wig. See, it's just the right length. If you don't want something that's like long that raises below the chin, you'll love this. And she just looks great. She's a great summer wig. She's a great winter wig. This high society is an all around wonderful, wonderful wig. So I highly recommend this wig. And I highly recommend that if you order a wig and at first you're not crazy about the shade or the shade may be too bright or it's not dimensional oops it's just like one dimensional add a bit of eyeshadow to it don't even you don't even have to worry about being careful because to me the less careful and precise that you are the more natural the rooting is going to look i mean that's just my opinion so like, take, take this advice from somebody who knows not what she does, but can only say that it works for her. So that's it. I um, will try to be back with more videos.
and I hope that you're having a really great week ahead and that you had a great week behind you. Um, I will say looking behind me now, I kind of, I don't know, like I was even saying to my husband last night and I was saying to my son last night too, when I was talking to him on the phone, the thing about taking Christmas decorations down is that when you dismantle everything, you look at your living space and you just say, oh man, you know, I'm kind of sad that it's all over. And then like a couple of hours later, you look around and you say, was Christmas ever here? Like, where did the holidays go? They were never here. It's just like the weirdest thing. I don't know if you feel the same way that I do, but like, that's how I feel. On, um, on a better note, I went from 171 pounds down to 163 and a half this week. And I have been doing it by just like really being pragmatic in my choices. That's, I, I've been using common sense. Um, we had an appreciation lunch at work. Like, and the food that I ordered the portions were so large that I was able to take everything home and divide it into four equal portions. So for dinner, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I had the same thing and it wasn't a big deal to me. Um, I kind of like routine. So that's where that went. And you know what? I've spent 21 and a half minutes blabbing. So that's it. I'll be back. Have a great, great, great day. Again, this is High Society. And um, if you like my videos, like maybe you want to subscribe because I'm trying to build up my channel a little and um, like it's weird because I would like more people to follow me and they don't. I don't know if it's because my editing and camera skills are so horrific, but you know, what you see is what you get. So if you like something natural, if you like something unscripted, if you don't mind bad lighting, and if you don't mind seeing my dog every once in a while, by all means subscribe and um, hit the bell and then you will be able to be entertained whenever I do make a video. So take care and I will see you next video. Bye.